Hi, welcome to OB Jeevan Academics. Today we are going to see the benefit of knowing correct anatomy of a ureter. When we perform gynecological surgeries, we are always told to stay away from ureter because we tend to injure if we don't know anatomy, its location and its abnormal ways. There are many complications during surgery, including hemorrhage, sepsis, infection, and other things. Surgical complications include injury to the recent organs like bowel, bladder, and ureteric injury is one of the rare but major complications in gynecological surgery. We should be able to identify course of a ureter and we should be able to dissect ureter out from your field of surgery because if ureteric injuries is happening it can cause lot of morbidity and mortality causes for ureteric injury during surgery could be acquired causes or congenital causes acquired causes are the pelvic surgery like difficult abdominal hysterectomy where, to, that, where there could be a big size of a fibroid present inside the uterus there could be cervical fibroid so as we know ureter passes 2 cm from the cervix and if fibroid is large enough to displace the ureter and if you are not able to identify ureter you might injure it when we are dealing with broad ligament fibroid there could be possibility that you might injure ureter which is passing from the posterior leaf of a broad ligament when there is an endometriosis which is significant in amount that can cause strictures which is causing difficult dissections and that may lead to injury to the ureter when we are operating on ovarian malignancy we know ureter causes posterior border of ovarian fossa and the malignant ovary which can be stuck up to the posterior border so while dissecting or while removing we can definitely injure the ureter as we know when we are operating in a radical hysterectomy we need to take out as much as portion from the pelvic we need to dissect closer to the pelvic walls so in that process if we don't know exact anatomy we can sometimes cut ligate or accidentally burn the ureter in cases of abnormal presentation of a ureter, ureter might be at some different level. So in that, in routine surgery also, and if you are thorough also in ureteric dissection, you might injure the ureter because ureter might be present in a wrong place. So what is percentage of a ureteric injury during gynecological surgery? As we know, there is a close association of ureter and genital organs. So ureter lies from upper border to the lower border of a uterus. So while during gynecological surgery, there is a close association and you might injure the ureter during that thing. Overall incidence is a 0.5 to 1% in all pelvic surgeries. In that total, 75% happens from gynecological surgeries. And in that also, 75% of injuries are common in gynecological procedures. That is specifically abdominal gynecological procedures. When you are doing vaginal procedures, you are away from the ureter, so chances of injury is less. We should know at what common places we can accidentally injure the ureter the first most common site for injury is infundibulo pelvic ligament level in that level ureter runs parallel to ovarian vessels in this picture you can clearly see that ureter is at the posterior border of ovarian vessels so if there is an inflammatory or malignant process which involves the ureter so when you are operating a ovary or when ovary is stuck up to the posterior wall where ureter lies so in that process you can accidentally injure the ureter second 
common place for injury is deep in pelvis below the level of ischial process where ureter lies lateral to the peritoneum of uterosacral ligament so if you are taking clamp too laterally sometimes you can include some part of a ureter into your clamp so you should be able to identify and you should be able to release the clamp if you in accidentally like it the ureter at the level of internal cervical os as we know ureter lies 1.5 cm lateral to the cervix when you are taking clamp at this level sometimes if you are going too laterally or you are taking one or two clamps extra at the medial side you might injure the ureter another common site for injury is anterior vaginal wall fornix where ureter enters into the tunnel or tunnel of wartimes so in that you need to dissect this tunnel during wartimes operation so in that thing when due to inflammation or due to malignancy there is a displacement of a ureter to one side and when you are dissecting in this tunnel it can get injured so you should be able to see or identify place of ureter before dissecting it and last place for injury is when it enters into the bladder at this level it goes 2 cm laterally then turns medially and enters into the bladder if you are not dissected a bladder below your dissection or below your level of cut you might accidentally injure the bladder